Listen. I get it. I've been gone for 27 days. Yo, what is good on you guys? Welcome back to the channel. And welcome back to Modern Warfare 2. So, I've been gone for far, far too long. And I'm sorry. But I'll tell you this. It was a much needed break. But anyway, we are here on Modern Warfare 2 today. Playing Season 2. So, we're going to play the new mosh pit. They... Added Valdera's Museum back from the beta and added Dome from Modern Warfare 3, which is also in the BR. But we're going to be playing this here today in today's video. And yeah, let's get into it. So this is the new AR, the ISO Hemlock. I mean, it looks kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. Also, Dome. Oh, it looks beautiful, bro. I missed this map. So I have not played a Call of Duty match, like an actual Call of Duty match, and going on three weeks? Some of that, like we're going on two, three weeks. Ooh, it's headquarters, my least favorite game mode of all time. Oh, this gun sounds mean. Okay. Okay, yeah, this gun sounds mean. For a 5.56 wet rifle, like this thing sounds mean. Also, this map is, I'm already liking that this map is in the game. It's kind of sad that we have yet to receive a brand new map from Modern Warfare 2 since its release. But apparently they are adding a map in Season 2 Reloaded, which initially wasn't on the roadmap, which is they're adding it, which has me very excited because we haven't had any brand new maps since the release. And no, I'm not considering the museum map as new map because it was in the beta, supposed to be there at launch. Mm, got a cross mount. I'm <laughs> the same guy that killed me too. I, this AR is pretty good. I'm not gonna lie, I really do like it. I don't like how slow it shoots though. This fire rate feels a little too slow. Oh, come on. Why are y'all sitting corners? I don't understand this one thing about this game. It's what's been holding me back from playing this game in particular, is it just feels like as of recently, people have been sitting in corners even more than it used to be at release. And I don't know if it's just me, if it's just my SBMM, it's just full of TikTok sweats who think they're the greatest of the game, who love to sit in corners. But, so I'll say this about this gun, this new Hemlock rifle. It's pretty good, but the fire rate sucks. Like this fire rate just feels way too slow. Maybe it's just the way the gun sounds. Oh, that was a nice shot. Okay. I like this AR. It, it hits really well. I like the damage output. I just feel like it should shoot a tiny bit faster. But that's just my thoughts on it, man. I, I'm also used to playing like Battlefield right now where every gun besides the SCAR has a relatively decent fire rate. This feels like a SCAR 8, like the attack V in this game, or the SCAR H, but looks like an AR. I was trying to ping the guy, but it pinged in front of me so the guy back there. Wait, I got an assist. I thought it was on the guys right there. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Running up there is almost a death sentence anytime. Damn. Quick review of Dome. It feels like Modern Warfare 3 again. I still suck at Call of Duty, so it's just like 2000. It's 2011 all over again. Nah, yeah. yeah. I will say the season two of Modern Warfare 2, from what they've shown us at least, looks to be about on par with season one of this game, which I'm going to say it now, it was a letdown. And that hurts to say because this, I was looking so forward to this game. But it's so unfortunate though because season two of Modern Warfare 2, for me, is kind of one of those make it or break it kind of seasons because modern warfare 2 is i will be honest on life support for multiplayer if you love warzone game is going great for you if you love warzone the game is going fantastic for you it's getting a ton of updates great quality of life improvements but for everybody else modern warfare 2 has been a pretty big letdown and it sucks to say that because I was looking so forward. Oh, reload. Let's reload. Nice double kill. He almost got me. But I was looking heavily, heavy forward to like really, you know, looking forward to this game a lot. 
And I just feel like I've been let down by this game primarily so far. It just feels like Modern Warfare 2 seasons have so far been a letdown for multiplayer. I feel like Season 3 might be able to do better. Apparently gunfights coming back in Season 3. We're getting a few other changes in Season 3 that are going to be pretty nice, apparently. But that's months away. I think that, honestly, we need to, starting next season or season the Season 2 Reloaded, we need to be having at least two to three new maps a season. That's because, you know, we paid 70 bucks. I paid about 110 on this game because you know, taxes, but I paid over 100 bucks for this game. I bought microtransactions, a few microtransactions just for like the battle pass and stuff, but I feel like I have not gotten my money's worth in what I initially paid for. But I'm willing to give Infinity War time. They obviously knew that the game had a great launch, but I also feel like they were kind of blindsided as well by the amount of overwhelming disdain for Warzone 2 in its first release. In this, they added infected to the game. Oh, I'm, I'm not on that infected side. Oh. I heard his footsteps. I had to reload, bro. What do you want me to do? That was the shortest game of Infected ever. Let, let, let's run it back. Eight, my issue with Infected on this is I feel like you don't get to pick your own weapon loadout or anything. So I kind of feel bad. That man's name, though. I almost wonder if sitting in the water would actually be kind of helpful, to be honest with you. No, you don't. I forget that that's not part of the map anymore, like ever. I wonder if you could drop a nuke on this. I feel like you probably would have to be able to drop a nuke on this game type. Shut the door, dum dums. I literally could have had a nuke, but nope. That got short lived, didn't it? Yeah, I don't know where my throwing knife just went right there. Oh, you know what? Season two is pretty good. 